Hello everyone, my name is Sumit and I welcome all of you to BISP self learning video series. This is another tutorial in Python for the beginners and today's topic is CGI scripting. As you know that Python is very useful in CGI, especially for web programming. So in this tutorial we'll be going to see that how to create a Python program which can which include the CGI programming which include the HTML programming and that we can run on a website or a web page so let's switch to our IIS and check how to configure a CGI so first of all I'm going to write a Python program so for this I'll open Python 34 and let me open a program default program and click on new file so click on new and we'll be going to create a new file now in this I will be going to write a program for to be run so here of first of all I'm going to write here the first statement or the first line will be print and in this we write content type text slash HTML then print HTML copy paste this head title title close body body close so let me change it with HTML head title and uh, right here sample CGI program slash title this should be slash head head tag closed here then we'll have body tag and in this body tag I just want to display a message so here I write print welcome to my first CGI program then body close slash body and at the end print print slash HTML so this is the CGI program now we'll see how to execute this CGI program so first of all I'm going to save this program in a directory in my D drive so I'll save this file in a D drive and in this D drive I'll make a new folder and I'll write Python CGI or let's say Python programs and I save this as a profile here so my Python CGI CGI so this CGI file has been created now to execute this CGI file or uh, let's see how to run this CGI file so to run this CGI file we need to open IS first of all so I open IS I launch my IS this that's the IS which I in that the internet information server so if it has not been configured on your system first of all you need to configure IS on your system after that expand this you will see a new BSP PC is coming this this is a local host and if any site is coming just delete that site so I remove this site as I'm going to add a new site here the default site so I click on this site right click on it and add a website to add a website I'll give a name here BSP test that's the site name we need a content directory or a physical path from where it will be going to read the files so I'll check this option and on the D drive the folder which we created just now Python program I check this program check this folder and OK and the binding type will be HTTP or HTTPS as per your requirement you can choose it so I'll go with HTTP IP address all unassigned if you want to assign an IP address you can use a specific IP address to be accessed so I'll go with unassigned so that it can be accessed from anywhere and the default port is 50 and start website immediately check this option and click on OK 
so the website has been created I'll refresh it and you can see the website has created now let's test this file whether this file exists or not or this file is working or not so to test it I simply write here HTTP localhost and when we press enter we'll getting an error message the web service configure is not listed content to the directory because there is no HTML file into it so we need to con we need to create HTML file into it so the directory which we have created just now in this I'm going to create a new HTML file first of all so as you can see here I have created one HTML file as a home page name is home page and I'll I simple write a text into it BSP HTML and simple text here body and BSP sample test now I would like I'm going to test using my local host whether this web application this HTML page can be accessed or not so here in this local host I again write change the address modify the address I write here HTTP localhost slash a name of the file name the HTML page name is home page dot HTML file name home page dot HTML and when I run it it says it display the content of that web page PSP sample website here also you can see if I open it it says BSP sample website which we can display in the body and the title is BSP sample so you can see the title here BSP sample here itself next is that's the application that's the HTML page but our main concern is to run this CG, this Python CGI program so to execute this Python CGI program we need to do some modifications and what modification we need to do is when I click on this BSP test you can see here we have got handler mapping is coming so I click on this handler mapping I double click on this handler mapping double click on it or before moving on to this handler mapping I right click on this BISP test and uh, I select here add application click on add application it is asking for alias so I give alias CGI bin that's the alias name and the physical path is looking for so the physical path for this I am going to create a new folder in the same folder the directory which we created Python program and I give a name CGI bin and copy this Python program in the same directory CGI bin so I am going to use this physical path over here so I look for that path D drive and Python program Python program and CGI bin okay and okay so now when we click on CGI bin and we refresh it let's refresh it once so that the changes can be get up changes will be done so when I click on CGI bin then after that I clicked on handler mapping double click on it open this handler mapping and within this handler mapping on the right side you can see add a script map because to execute this code execute this code which we have written in the Python CGI we need the Python executable directory exe file so I click on add a script map and request path so the request path will be the star dot py that it can execute all the py files the executable file the py files executable location executable location will be the python 34 because here this file this has contained the python py files here So I select it and here I write percent s percent s name I give a name Python and OK click on yes and you see the Python the handler mapping a new handler mapping has been added here it's a CGI module and it is local it will run on locally basis so after this is done what we need to do is we need to open this HTML again and in this HTML I'm going to create a link to access that script file so right here a href is equal to uh, CGI bin slash name of that file the address basically so CGI bin and the location is I'm not going to write the complete address because this, that's the default directory here so I use the CGI bin and the name of file will be Python CGI dot PY so give a name here so you can see. so we have done with this one we have configured the handler mapping here just now with the Python and it is configured we can look for Python it has 
Oops, sorry, here in this under mapping, and we have already configured for Python here in C yeah, Python. Now let's go and check test our application. So for this, first of all, let me add a link in the home page. So I add a link in a home page and I add the link like this href is equal to cgi bin slash python cgi dot py link to python script and when I execute this I'll get this page BISP sample test website link to python script and when I click on this link it will call the CG, python cgi dot py program and this python cgi dot py it contain the scripting code so let's see the code in the CGI bin and that's the code so it will execute this and it will display a message welcome to my first CGI program so when I run it link to Python script I got a message welcome to my first CGI program and that's the heading sample CGI program so like this we can add a CGI script in Python program and that can be accessed by using our local host on a web page let's modify this program a little bit more and this time I would like to pass the I would like to let user to input username and password or uh, use user will be going to input a username password in this HTML page and that username password I will be passed I will be going to pass in uh, in the Python code in the Python script so let's modify this and uh, here I'm going to add a form to so add a form here form action is equal to and uh, this time I'm not going to use this href I use this form action is equal to and it will call the CGI bin so I write here slash CGI bin slash name of the script the CGI script Python CGI Python CGI dot py it will execute this script and the method we have got two methods post and get so I, I'm wondering that you will must be aware of method both uh, both the method post and get and slash form and within this form I'm going to create two input first name and input type is equal to text name is equal to first underscore name and break I'll copy this paste it and modify this first name last name input type is equal to text name is equal to last name and then we have a button here so directly input type is equal to submit value is equal to submit and it will be a self closing tab so if I save it and run the program refresh it you can see I'm, I'm getting here first name last name so I would like user to enter first name and when the user enter last name here and when click on submit it will get to this Python script and this Python script will read the first name and last name from the HTML page and display here so for this we need to modify this code a little bit so to include to get the data from the previous page so we need to import here I write here import and CGI dot CGI TV that's the library we need to import it and then I create here two instance first underscore name is equal to form dot get value first underscore name is getting the value from here then last these are two variables and uh, form dot get value and last underscore name and then I would like to print the values so instead of this welcome to my first CGI program right here I'm going to print it so I write here simple h2 and uh, h2 hello break print print and I would like to print the values so I write here first name variable first underscore name comma last underscore name so let's test this put test this code so I'll save it to testing for testing it I'll save it and then I refresh this page and here I enter a name so let's say Peter and Paul and when I click on submit what it will do it will pass this first name and last name as a parameter in the 
python script and this python script will extract the value from this the html page and display the value here so you can see i'm getting a message hello peter paul so this is how we can pass the parameters from the html page to a python script and python script can read it successfully so that's all in this cgi programming of in python so i believe it's a very easy program for you to understand even if you have any queries you can visit our website and you can get in touch with us you can subscribe our youtube channel for videos on python or you can look for our customized training on python itself spend mainly for basic programmers for the basic beginners of python i will be going i am going to come up with some new videos in python till then have a nice day ahead goodbye